First, though, uh, a few uh, minutes on Angela Merkel and the situation she's facing, probably the biggest challenge in her 12 years as Chancellor of Germany. Um, Talks on forming a coalition government in Germany have collapsed, um, leaving her her and her party very exposed. Uh, The free market liberal FDP uh, pulled out after four weeks of talks uh, with Mrs Merkel's uh, bloc and the Greens as well. Uh, saying there's no basis of trust between them. Where does this leave Germany and where does it leave uh, the mother of Europe, as she's uh, sometimes been known? Nina Trentman joins me, news editor for the Wall Street Journal. Good afternoon to you. Hello. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Tell me uh, how you read the scale of Angela Merkel's difficulties here. Well, I think compared to previous difficulties, it is... Um, a huge challenge. Um, of course, Mrs. Merkel has, during the um, years since 2005, since she has governed Germany, she has faced quite a number of challenges, like, for example, the financial crisis, the euro crisis, um, then also um, Bre- Britain's Brexit referendum and the decision to leave the European Union. But these were all mostly external challenges that she dealt with, which she was able to manage quite well because she was pragmatic, she was able to to go through negotiations, um, whereas now this situation is a bit different just because it's leaving her exposed on a more domestic level because she simply doesn't have a coalition partner to govern with anymore, even though she won a majority in the September elections, which is a totally new um, experience for her because in the past years she's always managed to either convince the um, social democrats to form a ground coalition or then to to govern with the free liberals, the FTP um, that you mentioned before, but now this is different. Lots of people um, saying this could mean the end of the Merkel era. What might stop it meaning the end of the Merkel era? It depends a bit on um, how the current talks that are um, ongoing today now at this when now at that way speaking, um, Mrs. Merkel has spoken to Mr. Steinmeier, the German president, who is now in an important position to either say, OK, she's going to form some sort of minority government or we will proceed with Article 63 in the German um, constitution, which is um, paving the way for potentially for new elections. I think it depends very much on, on the conversation between Mr. Steinmeier and Mrs. Merkel on whether he thinks that she can strike some sort of minority government deal with the Greens or whether she can maybe also convince the Social Democrats to go into a ground coalition with with her again. Um, She's been saying before the election that she has another term in her and that she wants to to govern Germany for another four years. So I don't really think that she's going to, well, take this as the last step for for her. I think she'll fight to make it work. But of course, it's also this question, will Germans be be happy with some sort of, of coalition that isn't really appearing to, to be stable? Because Germans, as you know, like stability and like yeah. that they have this impression of that they see things coming. So um, it depends well, a, a bit on that, I guess. You know, all leaders put their domestic situation first at times like this. But how much is the European Union, particularly while Brexit happens, um, how much of that will be central to her thinking, do you think? Um, well, at the moment, it seems that the coalition talks failed because of more domestic issues like energy policy, um, financial policy, and then also how to deal with refugees and the question of whether refugees can take their families to Germany or not. But of course, in the end, Mrs. Merkel has been the, the great well, supporter of the European Union in the past couple of years. So this question of is she going out of this much more weakened than before and is she becoming a weaker German leader, that of course would impact then how the European Union proceeds given that Macron, the French president, was relying on her to to be his his buddy or his partner Mm. in trying to move the the EU forward after Britain's exit from the EU and into this new phase of a reformed EU. So if she was weakened and if she was weaker on a continued base, that of course would impact the the European project um, that that Mrs Merkel has so, so far supported. Nina, good to talk to you. Thank you. Nina Trentman, news editor for The Wall Street Journal.